Two people are dead. Their pickup truck crashed into a business in Kenosha. Two other people, including the driver, remain in critical condition at a Milwaukee area hospital. Now, a fifth person who was in the vehicle was treated and released. Mary Jo Ola reports from Kenosha. My head was like, oh my Lord, what happened here? Five people were inside this red pickup truck when it slammed into the Play It Again sports store near 75th and 41st in Kenosha. Two of them were killed. Two others were seriously hurt. You know, and I feel for the families that, you know, that they have lost two good loved ones. It happened around 3.25 a.m. Friday. This security video shows the pickup traveling east on 75th about a half mile before it crashed. The speed limit here is 30 miles per hour. We can say that there was evidence of alcohol use that was located in the, in the uh, vicinity of the crash. Um, there was also eyewitness reports that the vehicle was um, exceeding the speed limit. Kenosha police identified the two people who died as 22-year-old Dylan Zamora and 21-year-old Jenna Barrett. Both are from Kenosha. Some of Dylan's relatives tell me that he was one semester away from completing a doctorate program. In a statement, Carthage College says Jenna was a nursing student there and a standout volleyball player during her time at Trumper High School. Police say everyone who was in the pickup truck is between the ages of 20 and 22. It's not clear where they were coming from or traveling to. If it is shown that the driver um, was impaired at the time of the accident, there are serious, um, serious criminal charges that can come from that. At this point, police say it's too early to determine what exactly caused the crash. Meanwhile, Play It Again Sports in Kenosha is partially boarded up and temporarily closed. Mary Jaola, TMJ4 News.